Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, unfortunately, once again, Microsoft has confirmed another known issue. After installing this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 version 24H2, and this is officially now confirmed over on their known issues health dashboard page. Now, as I have been mentioning since the rollout of version 24H2 on the 1st of October this year, the start of the rollout on the 1st of October, the OS has not been without its issues. And personally, I've experienced a lot of issues on my device after updating from 23H2 to 24H2. Granted, I did force the update using the update assistant um, on the download Windows 11 page um, because the update wasn't initially offered and I can see why Microsoft did that. But I had to update for the purpose of this channel. Now, the latest issue is that after installing Windows 11 version 24H2, users without administrative privileges might not be able to change the time zone in the date and time view of Windows settings. The expected time zone option is not visible to non-administrator users. So what this is all about, um, to kind of put this into a nutshell, first of all, if you want to check if you are an administrator, then you head to your settings, head to your accounts, and yeah, you'll see, as in my example, I'm administrator. So if you see guest or user and not administrator, then this could be an issue that you are experiencing with version 24H2. Now, Microsoft says the issue is limited to the date and time view in the Windows Settings app only. Okay, so in the Windows Settings app, if we head over to time and language, date and time, okay, here's where the problem is lying. They say that users with administrative privileges will not experience this issue. Okay, so as an example, I have administrative privileges, so I don't have a problem changing my actual um, time zone in my date and time settings. Now, they say that the issue is limited to the date and time view in the Windows Settings app only and is not a result of changes to permissions, user policies, or any settings of the operating system. And as mentioned, if you don't have administrative privileges, you can still change the time zone per the steps in the workaround which they have provided. So um, just to sum this all up, if you are a non-administrator, you don't have administrative privileges, you could be facing this issue when trying to change a time zone that you are unable to do so from the actual settings app. If you are like me and you are an administrator, you should have no problem and I haven't experienced that issue since upgrading to 24H2. Now the workaround, they say, is the time zone can be changed as normal via the date and time section of the Windows control panel. So if you are experiencing that issue in the settings app, then you can do the alternative workaround by heading to your control panel. Now, if you don't know where control panel is, just do a search for control panel and click on the relevant option. I have it pinned to my start menu. And then if you have your category view, what I would suggest is just put it to large or small icons. And then yeah, you click on date and time. This is the legacy date and time menu and dialog for the control panel. And yeah, you'll see change time zone you click on that and there we go this is where you can change your time zone as a workaround until microsoft rolls out a fix and they as as normal they say the next steps are that microsoft says it's actively investigating the issue and will provide a resolution in an upcoming windows update which as always i hope they roll out sooner than later and the affected platforms are windows 11 version 24h2 so if you are experiencing the issue Try this workaround to change your time zone in the legacy control panel date and time menu and dialog. And obviously, as always, if I get information, if this, this issue has been resolved, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.